All right, so what's good, y'all? Today's finally the day, man. We're unboxing one of my dream reptiles that I've wanted to get <clears throat> personally for a long time. I've wanted to get one of these things for a while. Um, I've done research on them for years, especially recent, uh, recently, the last like couple, four or five months. I've been researching these things nonstop. I've literally gone to almost every single page on the internet. Um, I'm not trying to be cocky, but I'm just saying I'm, I wanted to make sure I was uh, more than prepared for these things. I went to about every page I could find on the internet about husbandry. Um, I did some reports of them in the wild. I wanted, I wanted to see what they were like in the wild, um, not just captivity because you want to replicate their habitat. I wanted, um, I talked to every single breeder I could find uh, what they do for their animals. And, uh, you know, I've, I've read a bunch of books, um, watched videos. I just, I prepared the best I could for this thing. And uh, today is finally the day. So I'm not trying to waste uh, any much more of your time, but uh, I want to give a couple shout outs. So I got this guy from Full Range Reptiles, uh, Jim Miller, Full Range Reptiles. His customer service is excellent. This man is so knowledgeable about these animals. The transaction was smooth. I have absolutely no complaints. I couldn't have asked for a better for a better seller for this animal. So it is so hot in this car, man. I'm sweating so much, but it's the only quiet place I could go right now to film this intro. Um, I mean, I don't really have much else to say. I really just want to get into this unboxing. Um, I went to the store and got some crickets. I uh, just got some uh, some foods for them. I got some crickets, pinkies, and superworms. Um, just some superworms to add to my collection for uh, my breeding project. Trying to breed the superworms. So, other than that, I'm really excited to get to work with this animal. And uh, I mean, that's all I'm gonna say right now. And just a disclaimer: I could not control my my joy. Like I could barely speak half the video. Um, I know I was in a bathroom, but I wanted to be right next to the bathtub just so I could get him out of the bag and uh, get him soaked and, you know, just hydrate him and all that kind of stuff. I wanted it to be smooth. So that's why it's in a bathroom. <laughs> um, yeah, so don't mind the setting. Don't mind the fact that I cannot speak. I was just so excited and I still am really excited, but I just I was so in awe of how beautiful this thing was. But you guys just just go watch the video. You'll figure out what it is. You, you probably know it is from the thumbnail. Just go watch the video. Shout out Jim Miller again. I'm so excited to open this thing up. You have no idea. We took like a bunch of wrong turns. So it took a little bit longer to get him than it should have. And we might actually need a different pair of utensils too. Jeez, this thing's taped good. Jeez. Remember, I guys told you, I told you guys, as soon as I open this box and get him out of the bag, it's gonna be like a camera recording as soon as I pull him out of this bag. So first impressions are everything with him. Another thing I appreciate, I appreciate this. This is for the US Fish and Wildlife in case it's a state where something's not allowed. But look, common names. You guys probably know by now what it is. You saw the thumbnail. Argus Mutter, Varanus Panoptus Horni. I like that he put the full Latin name on there. But that's so what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna sit down like this because I don't I want him to be high or if you can't contain your excitement. I want him to be above me, you know what I mean? So he can look. I remember doing this. What the heck? Alright, here we go. So packing peanuts. So he is in this bag right here so this right here oh this is the yo he is sent the egg? egg he sent the egg guys that is so <laughs> sick look at this Whoa. this is the actual egg he has up i'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the bag that is so dope is it hard or is it softer it's it's hard now but the eggs are not that this is bigger than a chicken egg guys this thing is massive this lizard's about two weeks old he was born um uh, may i want to see may 13th he first pipped but look at that, guys. That's insane. That is so sick. I got the bath ready for him. The uh, here we go. Be very gentle. So, look at this, guys. This is so tough. Packing peanuts went everywhere. So, all right. I feel him moving around in here. He is an Argus, so he's gonna have a lot of energy. He's not gonna jump out of the Argus. He might. Look at this bag, guys. Whoa. Full range reptiles, captive bred velociraptors. That's the best way to put it. Captive bred, captive bred velociraptors. Uh, I think I already explained this, but this is a, I think either a second or third generation captive bred. We only do captive bred here. Um, 
But yeah, let's just go ahead and open it up. My gosh, this is secure. The security of this bag and box lets you guys get a glimpse into how easy it is, or not how easy, but how good of a skate artist these monitors are. Monitors, tegus, all this kind of stuff. It's smart, they're smart. But, yeah, I'm nervous, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I'm excited, but I'm nervous, just cause this is just such a, I just, man. This guy's gonna have a great home here. I just wanna be able to provide him uh, well, I'm gonna be able to provide him everything he needs. I can't even speak. I cannot even speak right now. I'm just so excited. I want him to enjoy himself here. I want this first interaction to be a good one. These scissors are not working. That just fell, but it's okay, guys. I really can't get this bag home. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> That's so sick, though. Where's the eggs right here? So sick. He's moving around in there. He's, I'm not sure if there's a heat pack in the bottom. No heat pack. It's, uh, I don't think it's really, there might be a heat pack in here, but it's not too cold outside. These last couple days, it's been uh, 70s. So you don't want to overheat this animal. Good there. I'm good. I got it. I finally got it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited right now. Oh my God. My heart, my heart, my heart. Are you, are you ready? Are you ready to see this thing? Yeah. All right, guys. Argus monitor. Right here. What's up, guy? What's up, buddy? Where is he at? All right. I, I feel his 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 uh stomach. I hope he doesn't just shoot out of the bag because that would be. Well, where can he go? He's not. Well, it's just. Oh my, oh my gosh. Ignore the fact I'm sitting on a toilet right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric, Eric, calm down, calm down, calm down. Hopefully he doesn't tail whip. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, this thing is so gorgeous. Come here, dude. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. This is the most beautiful lizard I've ever seen, ever. Where's he at? Oh, he's so small too. Oh my gosh, oh, he's cold. Tongue flicking, but he's cold. So this is, oh my gosh. Now, just like Kevin McCurley said in some of his videos, eye contact's a big thing for these guys. So you don't wanna look him directly in the eye. So I'm petting him under the chin right now. He is doing okay. I'm gonna go ahead and move him into the bath. I'm gonna just lower him directly into there. So you guys can see this animal and just how good it looks. Oh, he is so, he's, he's grabbing onto me with his claws. Small? He's tiny. Oh, come on, dude, come on. He's really cold. Here he comes, here comes his tail. I don't want him to feel threatened at all. So I'm trying to be as gentle as possible with him. Not applying any force to him whatsoever. I'm simply let, gonna let him crawl under my hand and crawl out of the bag and into the water. I don't wanna get this bag wet, but it's what's gonna happen, so it's okay. I think he might, yeah, he peed in the bag, but it's okay. Actually, I can't tell. I thought I saw some urates, but I'm not sure. Come on, dude. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, he's getting a little bit antsy. He's in the water. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. I really just don't want to stress him out. Here he comes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, he's big. Shh, 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 shh. Back up, back up. He did poop. Oh yeah, he poops for sure. That's him as a baby. He's really small. He's big. No, he's tiny. Here, back up. Now, I've literally looked up every single, um, that's to wash my hands, but I looked up every single one of these care guides on the internet. I've talked to multiple, multiple breeders. I've come to the conclusion that even though it's not stated most of the time, they are somewhat riparian, which means they hang out around water, around permanent bodies of water, which would explain why he's acting like this. Look at that. You guys can't even tell the colors on him. Oh my God.
gosh. Yeah, the camera doesn't pick it up. He is literally perfect. He's cold. So if he's this cold and this energetic, this dude's gonna be an absolute rocket when he's warm. So we're gonna go ahead and leave him alone right now, but guys, I could not resist the urge to pick him up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know it goes against everything that you're supposed to do with baby monitors, but I could not resist the urge. He's he looks really good, guys. All right, here we go. This is better. Look at that, guys. I think he likes oh, yeah, he's, he's not having the flash. Let me turn this off, but look at that animal. four by two it's a little bit big for him right now but he should tame out of this pretty nicely i'm just gonna let him get um some time to himself and there he is guys it's a little bit a little bit mad all right, man, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, I got a um, huge shout out to Jim Miller from Full Range Reptiles. I'm going to leave his page uh, down below. Anything you guys need with monitors, if you guys have any um, any questions about monitors, go ahead and ask him, man. This guy's, a, this guy's a true expert. I know he's doing Argus monitors right now. He has a lot of Argus monitors. He's the guy to go to, one of the guys to go to. Um, he does Kimberly Rock monitors, uh, and I think he's doing Croc monitors as well. He's got, a, I think he's got a whole building. Um, just dedicated to his animals this, he really cares about his animals um like i said very knowledgeable the transaction was so smooth i have absolutely no complaints he answered all my questions man i'm so sorry i asked him like probably 55 why did i use 55 so, so, so specific probably like 50 questions um a day just to ch try and get my husbandry perfectly um i'm super excited to get to work with this animal um you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be doing some of the stuff that Kevin McCurley teaches in his videos. It is so hot in this car. So I'm going to end this so I can go back inside. But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want to see more of the Argus monitor, um, I have a couple names floating in my head, but drop name suggestions for the, for the baby Argus. I don't know the gender yet, but he's looking amazing. He's looking so healthy, so perfect. This dude was eating two minutes into his enclosure. Like I said, uh, second or third generation captive bred baby. So captive bred is the way to go. Um, I wasn't going to get a wild caught. So we'll see what we can do with this guy. Um, taming wise, I'm so excited. I'm going to be putting work, uh, putting in work with him every day. But yeah, I'm so excited for this. Obviously, because I said it a million times. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like this video up. Um, if you guys want to see more of the Argus Monitor, if you guys want to see how I progress, I'm going to be doing so many videos with him. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, can't wait to see you in the comments or, you know, just interact with y'all like. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's my favorite part about this. We're actually going pretty fast. Some of my videos are doing pretty good. So hit that subscribe button and uh, see y'all later. It is hot in here. It is so hot. Oh my gosh. I know you guys like the cut though. Shout out my barber. All right. Later.